Welcome back to your favorite podcast, Two Homeschool Moms. I'm Nikki. And I'm Ashley. If you're looking for real, raw, and relatable moms who talk all things homeschool and mom life, you're in the right place. We want to say thank you to Homeschool Planet for sponsoring this episode. If you are new to hearing about Homeschool Planet, we encourage you to check out this amazing, life-changing digital planner. Homeschool Planet will make your life simpler by keeping home, school, and work schedules all in one place accessible to anyone. Yep, and my favorite part is to plan your entire school year in just a few minutes by seamlessly merging all your lesson plans from popular homeschool curriculum companies right into your calendar school year. Check out their 30-day free trial with no credit card required, which will be linked in the description next year. Oh my god. I can touch her. <laughs> I know. This is weird. <laughs> now I'm like, because I'm normally talking to you. Yeah. It's weird. So we're obviously together. Yeah, we're sitting in the same room. In my homeschool room. Which is weird, right? Mm -hmm. This is super weird. She's like, I thought it was like really like long, but like our room is like yeah, there's just a whole square. Like, like room in it's front like of our us. It's like our living room, basement but in the basement. Room. So we're just in like the tile section. Of yeah, it. we're like against the back wall. So yeah. I thought it was like long. Yeah. I don't know, but it's not. So just in case you wondered how Nikki's house looks. <laughs> not yeah. what I thought. Yeah, and our kids are loud upstairs playing video games, so if you hear them, I apologize. Um, but yeah, we are filming our, what is it, episode 22? 22. Wow. 22. 22 episodes. That's crazy. We are wrapping up our season today. This is it for this, a few months. This is it. Like, She's like, oh, I can't film this week. Should we just film when you're when I come? And I'm like, yes. Like we can have a video, like just us. And we did not plan this matching. No, but look how professional we are. Right? Showing up for the last episode. Yeah. And like we're over here, like we don't know what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> yeah, so we're done. Well, we're, we're not officially done homeschooling, but we're getting to be done and you're getting to be done yeah so, like we're over it yeah we'll be done this week we'll be done may 9th which is like two next weeks. week yeah two weeks. two weeks two weeks yeah um because my oldest daughter won't get her math done i was like i was like just do it just get these lessons done so we can be done but yeah it's hard like i don't know about like <laughs> All I can hear is my kid like obnoxious. They're having laughing. so much fun. And they've been out all day. <laughs> oh yeah. So let's just skip right. that. Let's talk about our day. What did we do today? We'll insert a little fun clip here. If you're on YouTube watching, you'll see it. But if you're not, you should go find it because it'll be funny, I'm sure. But, yeah. Uh we did lots today. We did. We went to downtown Chicago. Yeah. And Nikki's the best tour guide <laughs> ever. <laughs> and yeah. what did okay what did we do first well first we were freezing and we had to go buy a sweater <laughs> yeah so <laughs> because mm -hmm. it was it was in the 50s but it was colder by the lake and it was definitely colder in between the buildings downtown and it, so you when you were in the shade so they definitely needed yeah we only brought like one like i was wearing this with a sweatshirt and mila was yeah. wearing the, the same thing so we got one like bigger oversized hoodie so yeah and so we had um the wendella boat tour tickets mm -hmm. and so we sat on the top we thought we were going to be cold being on the boat on the lake but it was actually not bad we were in the so sun nice. it was beautiful views um we took lots of pictures mm -hmm. and yeah it was then we got hangry and then we got pizza which was delicious but it was. the service was horrible yeah it was a pretty crappy experience for Lumal Nadi's not gonna lie yeah so we ordered it on the boats because we had like another reservation so we're yeah. trying to be like good and then we couldn't eat inside even though we ordered their food right and then so we have to like eat outside. A deep dish <laughs> pizza, mind you. This is not like grab a slice and go. Grab a slice, you know. So we have forks and knives and two kids and two kids and paper plates in the cold, cold outside wind. because we're in between a building. Yeah. And they said we could eat in their lobby. 
and that was just awkward so we weren't gonna do that but if i would have known we wouldn't have ordered it for pickup right uh, we would have just foregone it all together because we were on limited time so i'm like i know a deep dish takes a long time to cook so i wanted to make sure it was ready so that we had time to eat and go right away so they didn't cut it and so we're outside with this large deep Whole dish pizza, large pizza. <laughs> i'm cut Whatever, I shouldn't have ordered a large, but I figured if we were in the restaurant, they would have like packaged it in a smaller box for mm -hmm. us and we could have had like a bag, you know, to carry it around. But like, no, we, we just had a, pizza, had a box. pizza box. So we, she had to take it back in down a flight of stairs because it's in like the basement of a building and they had to cut it, but they almost like didn't want to because yeah. they're like, oh, is there something on the pizza that like. You were given like in yeah. the pizza which i've never heard of well see i felt stupid i'm like <laughs> i don't know i don't eat this pizza but i just know pizza should be in slices right then, and yeah. you literally handed me the same box that i'm giving you the pizza <laughs> back in um and i'm showing it to you that it's not cut um so they cut it thankfully but it was still cold eating it outside because it was freezing and like our hands yeah. were numb because it was shaded and then yeah like yeah. It, that was like the coldest of the day was eating pizza yeah really yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but we had it was fun we ate some pizza and then we went to the museum of ice cream mm -hmm. which was in how would you rate it how many stars out of five how many out of five. five yeah i would give it like a three and a half yeah that's about me too yeah I, for we, the price let's just full enclosure we paid 180 dollars to attend for four, for four people okay it was 33 dollars per person but there was like some whacked out 48 dollar fee additional fee on top that was the tax or no service fee mm -hmm. and taxes i think yeah but it was like 50 dollars just for that yeah <laughs> Um, it did have unlimited ice cream. The unlimited ice cream, so. So be prepared, mm -hmm. like, if you are taking your kids. They have them in New York. They're all, there's, like, a bunch of locations. But it's definitely gimmicky. I, I mean, it was cute. We're going to put pictures in here. I mean, it was, yeah. we liked it. We had fun. We had fun. Don't go without your kids, though. Yeah, it's definitely for kids. And slow down. Don't. Yeah, don't rush. Don't rush like, through it. Like, go and read all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> in each room because you'll go through it real fast like we were by the mm -hmm. end like we were only there for like 40 minutes yeah we like went back and then the girls were like that's it we want to go back through it and we're like well i don't know if you're supposed to do that but we did anyway yeah but then we really didn't stay because it was busier i feel like yeah that then it got busy but i mean it was super cute i think the kids yeah i think they really loved it. it they'll remember it for sure but yeah but yeah it was fun we had a good downtown day and then Got in a lot of traffic on the way home. Yeah, I got a true experience of well, she traveling got, in Chicago. She got the true but experience. But it was beautiful. Like, yeah. it was 100% worth seeing, like, the city and, like, yeah. everything. It was great. Yeah, I think the boat ride's the way to go to mm -hmm. get, like, the full picture. Oh, yeah. Because even if driving in the car and, like, you can't see, you can't see how see big like they that. are. Yeah. It looks like a cool. postcard. Yeah, the boat was awesome. Even yeah. though the kids weren't 100% fans. Right. I they were bored. It. it is an architect tour. Mm -hmm. So like a guy is literally telling you about the architecture of Chicago. Yeah. So I could see how it can be a little boring to a kid, especially for like 90 minutes. But you got to go through like the locks. So you got to see like the um the boats go through like a channel that like raises, they raise the water to meet the lake level. So you go from the river, they raise you up to the lake, you go out on the lake. You come back, they raise you back down to go back to the river. So it's a really cool, yeah, they don't have that anywhere. Well, and like we got to go to one of the Great Lakes, which we've never done. So yeah. like, even that is yeah. like Lake Michigan, which you would never know would be a lake right. because it looks it's like, like the, ocean. the ocean. It's yeah. very colorful, like bright um, and fun. So it was a great time. Yeah. A great first day. It was a great first day. Who knows what we're doing tomorrow, but. Mm -hmm. We could just do this. Right? <laughs> here and talk all day. <laughs> I mean, I, I have some other plans. <laughs> I mean, we could. No, but we're like... going to do something. We're only here for two full days, so we have to make the best of it. But 
we did yeah. decide we're probably gonna go on a trip where neither of us lives next time yeah because it's way more fun to feel like you're on vacation Together. when one is not like showing you things like we've already done the boat ride yeah. a million times so like that's why my kid was bored for yeah. sure because she's like oh the boat ride again <laughs> <laughs> you know so we want to go like explore somewhere we've never been so hey if you have recommendations yeah it would be a fun girls uh, uh, not a party girls trip no. like a boring yes. old lady <laughs> yes boring old lady we Tours. don't drink we don't like do we don't party we yeah, don't, we don't stay party. Out late. I mean, we may stay up late in yeah. our hotel room talking, yeah. but like we're not gonna go out. If there's books or and we'll library. likely have our kids with us. Yeah. So yeah. leave some suggestions for us. Yeah. You all know I'm Chicago and she's Vegas, so somewhere maybe in the middle or Which sounds so funny because we live in like such like big cities and we're so I don't think we're boring <laughs> no we're not boring but we're so like laid back I feel like for like living in those kind of cities I mean I like adventure yeah but like when you grow up there it's it's not an adventure yeah it's more just like okay we're going to the city again and yeah it's like we like avoid you that. foul when you take yes. us to the strip I'm like, oh, I'm like this sucks <laughs> we really have to go to the strip and it's like yeah, now you know the traffic I had to sit in coming mm -hmm. home. Like, that's the city. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we both like adventure. We both enjoyed Zion a lot because we didn't live amazing. there. And it was really cool to, like, see mm -hmm. and, like, do all the things. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, we're, what are we talking? We're talking about our summers, right? We're wrapping up our homeschool <clears throat> year. How would you rate your homeschool year? this year oof that's that's a solid three out of what out of five out of five. Oh, okay i thought we were like on a different grading scale what scale are you I don't know, on? like one to ten or something oh i'd probably still be a three <laughs> <laughs> okay no we're at five five scale listen three. we started out our year with all new curriculum and it went very fast realizing that we didn't like a lot of it and so it was a struggle to find the curriculum that worked for us this year and I have you know a nine-year-old who's pushing back more and like we're going through this phase of just like not wanting to do school and it's just been a tough year for us I mean overall I think we finished out pretty well mm -hmm. um but yeah I I don't this isn't my favorite year I'm hoping next year is going to be great <laughs> hopefully what about you? I would say overall, I would probably say like a four, just because I had I did feel pretty like confident. Like we didn't make a ton of changes. I think the hardest thing was my oldest not wanting to do group subjects. So where I felt like we finally had like we know we're doing science and history together, and she's like, no, no thanks. And so <laughs> yeah, that I think was like the hardest thing for me is like dealing with her not wanting to do school together. Yeah, well, I mean, kind of for me, too, because I think she really got a taste of that independence for when I go to work. Yeah. And so she... What is that? Is that Lucy? Uh-huh. Oh, my Her God, Josh protect is me. Her, Josh is home. Her dog doesn't like me. <laughs> and I love it's her, and she doesn't that. like me. Yeah, she doesn't like anyone. It's not even about you. It's just she's very, very protective. Very yeah, but now we've been in her house and she's been locked in a room. And so she's going to attack us. She's fine. Josh is home. He won't let that happen. Hopefully. <laughs> Where's me? Now I'm like worried. Oh, they're fine. Okay. Um, But yeah. What were we saying? We're talking about our years. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So Molly got a sense of independence from me having to go to work. And I think she would, I think she really likes that. Yeah. And so I have to kind of think of creative ways to get her to still have those independent things, but with trust mm -hmm. <laughs> that she's actually going to get done and not um, crossed out pages that say don't need to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, like, I think she really enjoyed that independent time. Yeah. I felt on my end much more prepared and like less stressed about like planning and scheduling yeah than I had in previous years yeah same yeah well and that was 
I mean, if you think about it, like in previous years, we didn't really have a lot of plans. I mean, yeah. we did, but like it wasn't. We were making it up week by week, like right. as we went. And I think that caused a lot of stress. But then when we both got introduced to Homeschool Planet, it just changed that. That's um, true. Because we both started using it fully this last school year. So this whole last school year, we were planned out. Yeah. And at that point, I was like reverse planning. So I was literally opening a curriculum up. And after we did whatever we were doing, then I was writing it in my planner that what we did. And like, how is, I mean, yeah, some people are not going to I was going to say, how is that, that? That's not really planning. It's that's not planning. just like journaling. But I had a it. lot of open and go curriculum then. Yeah. And so it was easy to just open it up. And yeah, like, like if you want to track what you're but doing. But that's why I feel like moving beyond the patient worked for us before. Yeah. Because I didn't plan. I was not a planner. Right. I didn't know how to plan. I didn't know how to organize something to where it flowed and made sense. And so this time around, I mean, we went through that one unit really well with home, with moving beyond the page because I sat there and I planned it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's definitely not for us to do for a lot of yeah, it's a different units, but. It takes some getting used to. It's not like any other curriculum I've ever used. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we're overall had a decent year. It's just, it wasn't my favorite. Well, what was your favorite thing? <sighs> Do I have to pick? I don't know, because I asked you the question. And I'm like, <clears throat> Shit, what am I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she, if I would go off of my child, mm -hmm. she was a history hands down because she likes history she's crazy she's very crazy which is why i'm surprised <laughs> she was bored because there was so much history today right. on this it's because she's done it before she knew it all she's like this True. is boring i know that yeah <laughs> yeah and it's just boring building history for right. the most part but no she really liked curiosity chronicles and we stopped doing it i'm just gonna yeah it like, wasn't why? even because <laughs> it was a bad curriculum i like the curriculum i actually truly liked the curriculum it's just uh... but if she liked it and i was <laughs> it was more about time it was literally yeah. more about time because that just added an extra time onto our day and so when i started work that's when we stopped when i started working because i just didn't have the time to add an extra subject in um and now i have to kind of figure that out right mm. for next year but i needed time to figure out how we were going to flow things. Plus we were doing a lot. We were doing a lot. Like yeah, you were. I have a ton of books behind me that we did this year. Like we were doing a million things. And I think that also contributed to the lack of wanting to do school. You like for overdid her. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's my like goal for next year is to simplify and not do a ton of things um, and do the things that she likes more. Yeah, like you should have dropped something else, not mm -hmm. history. If she liked it. Yeah. Like you know. our financial literacy. Or, or writing. Writing. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. like the unschooling I think you mm -hmm. can get on board with. Is yeah. like if she really doesn't like something, then use what she does like. Because yeah, history. Most kids hate history. Yeah. Or it could be something that she might want to do independently. Um, because it's literally a book that's directed towards the student. And like it does have conversational text but I feel like she would be totally fine reading both people in the conversation for the textbook for history mm -hmm. um and that could also like that's why I think she'll like Tuttle Twins yeah it's very story is she yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's the plan I'm just I just have to figure out our schedule behind it and we are splitting our year so we're not gonna do history all year yeah um, we're going to do science for the first half and then history for the second half. So I think that will also help because we didn't do a lot of science either. Yeah, because I think trying to do both those subjects, I've said that before. That's like well, and you worse for burnout. Because you have, you only school three days. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, I just read something like instead of trying to slam seven subjects in a, in a school day. Yeah. Like really break it down to see like what it is you really want in your homeschool too yeah um but yeah that's i think that will help us is not doing both in the same 
semester. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot, especially for working moms. Yeah. And because moms that limited. don't love that stuff because well, it doesn't too. just come like naturally <laughs> to us or like. We're not scientists. <laughs> Yeah, or like doing all the experiments or like yeah, researching all the history stuff. That takes extra energy that like we don't have sometimes. And so that is where the struggle comes from. Our kids may love it and enjoy it, but if we can't get the energy up, it's right. not going to happen. So that's where those yeah, that's, things fall short. That's the hard part. Um, and I picked things that I'm hoping, like they didn't have a lot of text. So I'm hoping that it'll be easier to go through it because it's not going to be overwhelming on a page to feel like we're just learning this like insane amount of things so but like okay so what like do you have planned like how are you wrapping up your year are you doing a fun party are you going to have summer plans right away yeah so like two weeks three weeks after we stop school the kids are going to camp so they're going for like four solid weeks of summer camp this summer. So like they're looking forward to that. I'm ending my year with our MAP test. So that will be kind of like our last school day where they're test. And then I do want to throw them like a party. But at this point in time, I'm not cool enough to just have a family party. <laughs> oh, no. They only they care like if their friends. friends are coming. But like that's a lot because a lot. Um, we have a pool and dogs. And even though our dogs would be fine, I don't want kids and dogs in a pool together. It's just not a good mixture. And so yeah. I have to like lock up the dogs. And so I'm, I'm debating doing the party thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough call. And now I feel like, so when we were in North Carolina, we went to a person's house and had a new pool, mm -hmm. like a really nice pool. And they actually hired a lifeguard. Yeah. And it actually came in handy because the lifeguard had to jump in and grab yeah. a kid. And it's like when you least expect it, because that responsibility is like on you as the parent, especially right. if it's a drop off scenario. Which it would be. Right. And that's that's scary. I mean, every kid can say they know how to swim, but if you get knocked or something, mm -hmm. you know, you never know. Well, and it's so we had them, so we went to a birthday party and they had a lifeguard. And I was like, oh, really? I know this mom forever, but I was like kind of making fun of her. I'm like, seriously? Yeah, but right. when there is like an overload of kids too, you can't always see everybody. It's everyone splashing and stuff. And so like Nico can swim, right. but he wasn't strong enough to swim when like there's like the waves crashing. And so the yeah. lifeguard had to actually get Nico, which was cute. I think he wanted the girl lifeguard to get him as honestly. I think he was like playing damsel in distress. But. I mean, yeah, that's. I, we thought the same thing. Like it's silly. Yeah. You know, but like at, but at the wasn't. end of the day, <laughs> we are one person and so when you're running back and forth in the house getting food and snacks and stuff like you just can't have your eyes on the pool at all times you're just, just like clarifying yeah. i don't want to do this uh, <laughs> just, i'm just saying like, or hire the lifeguard no i mean honestly it would be a bunch of like teen not teens pre-teens it'd be older yeah. kids but yeah. still then they they tend to like i don't know it's just like a different dynamic but i don't know how much i want to deal with that so Either way, we so have... maybe no party. Yeah, maybe no party, but we also have a big vacation coming up in June. We're mm -hmm. going to Seattle for a week. <sighs> so jealous. I'm so excited. She's going to Forks, guys. Like, maybe. I, maybe. Going. I don't There's know. No. It's, no it's four hours. <laughs> She's going. We'll see. We Because we're staying like an hour and a half out of Seattle, so it actually might be five hours to get to Forks, but because I'm a huge Twilight fan, I feel like I have to go. And Nick's like... You have to go to Forks. He's like, even if just you See, and I go, because yeah. he knows it's like, yeah, he knows if like everyone knows Edward or Jacob like were to come to life, <laughs> I'm out. I'm if out. I could be turned into a vampire, going, yeah. done. Actually, um, Josh just sent me a meme that said, "We all know that if you ever watched or read Fifty Shades of Grey, that that man wouldn't be attractive if he lived." in like a shelter under the ground or something you know like not a billionaire, a billionaire. no <laughs> see I, I mean i read those but i that was not my i was definitely more yeah i like for sure i like the the what is it called mythical not mythical i mean it is sort of 
But yeah, she's going to Forks. Yeah. So anyways, that's, <laughs> we're going for a week so my kids can be with their cousins and we're super excited. And I have a work trip in between that. So like really, we're like Busy. slammed with yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I'm year. leaving in two weeks to go to Minnesota um, for the weekend, like a long weekend. And then, I don't know, we're thinking of planning something too, but I don't know what. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't have, I think we're going to do summer camp. I haven't ordered, like, plant not ordered it. I mean, it's basically like ordering stuff. I mean, yeah, online. But... Sell a liver for it. <laughs> Well, so stupid and expensive. Literally, and like my mom was saying, a lot of places, like I was saying how you guys have it for four weeks. Like we don't have that here unless you jump from like park district to park district. Well, ours is actually t like 12 to 14. Like whatever the entire public school summer, summer is, is like how many weeks oh, of that wow. camp's yeah. open for. We don't have that here. At least not that I'm aware of. Um, so it's fun to just like... I don't know like it's hard because you can't so like we know someone who lived in I think Maine and they literally have to like they really want to get into one but it doesn't open up until the other one is already and there's no refund so they have to kind of like mm -hmm. bargain on whether they're going to sign one. up for this one and hope that they still get into the other one and lose out all their money yeah. it's ridiculous um so yeah ours is pretty bad with refunds so I, there's another mom that we both sign up and we try to plan the same weeks together and she's like oh crap i forgot one of her daughters is going to be like doing something so we signed up in april camp isn't until like <laughs> this week wasn't until july that she was right? talking about yeah she lost her deposits <gasps> because they're like no if you don't and, like nico dropped That's out insane. last year oh, right. and i had to fight with them <clears throat> i'm like he went a half a day yeah give me my money back. or i was like just apply it to my other kids but right. I mean, it's a hot commodity, I guess. So, yeah, because a lot of for a lot of people, that's their big. It's their daycare. System. That's their daycare when system. When schools are out, yeah. So I Which, get it. But. Yeah, I get it too. But it's just getting insane. It's it's just getting out of hand. The cost of it and stuff. I mean, I'm more interested, I think, in like maybe next year sending her to like an away camp. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'd be so nervous. I'd I would to be go. too, but like I'd have to be sleeping under the bed. <laughs> I mean, they're not long. Like those don't yeah. go on like forever. But I don't know. It might be something that she'd be interested her. in. So it's it's considered, but yeah. it might be out of our budget too. So. I don't. I mean, so we have one through kind of. It's the same church that our co-op is with. Mm -hmm. And Emma was actually old enough to go this year, and her friend was going. So I was like, you know what? We'll talk about it. But it's the exact same week that we're going to be in Seattle. So I was like, you can't. But honestly, the cost of it was not much different than the day camp. Oh, my gosh. So Which makes... Right, because I'm like, oh they're gosh. actually paying for, like, sleeping quarters. Yeah. And no, it, was pretty, it wasn't that much of a difference where I was like... That's crazy. Yeah, so... So yeah, we have the summer plans, and then we plan to start, both of us start back up in July. Mm -hmm. um, Do you have your date yet? No. Um, I think I Yeah, like July I did 16th. on my planner. Whatever, like, that remember. middle week is. Oh, I think I'm the week after you. Okay. I think I had, like, the last week of July. Just because I think we tried to start earlier mm -hmm. last, and it didn't work, because we had, like, a trip, or I was gone, or something, yeah. and then, not that I'm planning on all these trips this year, but it just seems like... It's hotter than two. Mm -hmm. So, we'll wonder. Plus, the cicadas are coming. And I don't know how long they're going to be here. <laughs> oh, I, it's so weird that they're up higher. Oh yeah, I'm not used to basement. being in basements. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm not going to be going anywhere. That's how you can tell my husband's home. <laughs> is he has all these insane <clears throat> ringtones on his phone that are really loud. Mm -hmm. Not a silent one. Nope. Mm. Not not a silent one. He used to be. What about your husband? Actually, yeah, he's the one who suggested that we talk about how awesome our husbands um, are on this last podcast mm -hmm. episode. So do you have any awesomeness about your husband you want to share? <laughs> well, I was telling Nikki. Like, was are she we cutting this that? part out? No, we can say it. <laughs> Came, it pissed me off right before I came on this trip because, like, we've been together a very long time. Like, me and my husband, we grew up together. So, like, 
we didn't have separate lives. <laughs> Does that make sense? So like our lives are Same. each other. Like we're codependent for sure. And so I think he's, I think he's sad that I'm leaving him to be honest. Like I'm not trying mm -hmm. to be like selfish. So he was just like kind of grumpy up and for me leaving. And I get anxiety when I travel. And so it doesn't help. My anxiety and mm -hmm. his jealous was like clashing, yeah. but Every we, time. we made up before I got on the plane. So we're all good. He is awesome. He is very patient. I mean, he's taking care of two kids while I'm here, so, and he takes care of them when I go on work trips, so he's definitely MVP for that. Well, he knows how to step up and do his stuff. I mean, I left a fridge stocked of Right. Every, you prep it. I prep, prep it. it. He just has to make sure nobody gets Well, he did take them to the dentist today, <laughs> so I mean, he's like getting stuff done, and so, um, yeah, he's, he's great. Um, he supports me and doesn't. He supports my addiction to homeschool stuff. He doesn't like tell me not to do it, so. Uh huh. He lets me come see Nikki. It doesn't really. I mean, I didn't ask. I just. <laughs> I said I'm going. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like yeah. you're just like, um. Well, you know. I mean, I basically didn't ask either when I came to you. Yeah, I was so. just like, oh, I'm going to Chicago this week. Mm -hmm. Can you take those days off work? And it's like you know another sensitive layer because like we didn't know each other like in person oh when so you came yeah she's like i'm gonna fly across the country to go meet a stranger how's that sound yeah literally yeah. you're crazy but i don't think i mean now i know her it's not abnormal for her to meet someone online so <laughs> i'm not the first i'll just say that I met my husband online. Yeah, so as soon as I found that out, I'm like, oh, this is not weird for you. No, but it was weird because it was from YouTube. I think that's what got in our heads, even yeah. though we talked a lot every single day at that point. Like, probably three months before the trip is when I think we started talking, like, all day, every day. Three months? more? No, way more. Well, I mean, that. we were talking, but I think we got to the point, like, where we were, like like now like we're always talking yeah it's just it's kind of always felt like i just know when, i just know when she gets sick of me because she puts her do not just no no on. no <laughs> that's a lie you're the only person i respond to in my do not stir <laughs> and it's automatic i don't that's even funny. it just is on oh okay. yeah it's just like set. it's set from my old job and i've just never turned it off because i used uh -huh. to have my work stuff on my phone and so well, i had sense. to turn it off at five so i could stop obsessing over it yeah and I respond to her when I'm I do not kidding. disturb the I don't even care. I'm just kidding. Do you kidding. press the notify anyway button? <laughs> no. Oh. I can't. I've been tempted a couple times if I don't think I, you're going to respond I in do time. Respond. Unless I'm going to bed. I do stop. I do. I don't know your bed. Turn off my phone when Nick gets home from work. And yeah. Yeah. But we don't really ever talk that late anyway. No. Because that's normally like our time. Like we're normally reading yeah. or something or. <laughs> reading. Yeah. That's all we do. We don't want and then we talk to each other time. about reading. Yes. Yes. So we just, well, I started a book and she finished it. <laughs> okay, but wait, you didn't say about your awesome husband. Oh, my awesome husband? Yeah, you uh, can't get away with that. This one's awkwarder because, awkwarder? Because he's here. More awkward. <laughs> you can hear me. You Better be nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's great. <laughs> he's supportive and, you know. He does get that same thing. Like I've told you, he gets that weird, like, jealousy thing. Because he doesn't have that, like, friend circle where he can just, like, travel to a different state and, like, hang out with friends. So, and that's what Nick and I were talking about. I'm like, but you don't like to do that anyways. Right. Same. So, it, it's yeah. actually, it's not mm -hmm. a real thing that they want thing. to do. They yeah. would never do it, I think, right. if they had the opportunity. It's just... Yeah, because yeah. he has his group of people that he hangs out with now, yeah. and, like, they have retreats, and they go do things, and yeah. he doesn't want to go. Right. So. Yeah, Nick got invited to, like, a, a party for work, and I'm like, are you going to go? He's like, no. Like, like how dare you? He only goes me. if he's forced to go. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I was like, oh, well, oh I lost my, I'm turning into you. I lost my dream. <laughs> I don't know. You know how many I'm things tired. I tried to tell her on the way in the car that my Adderall hadn't kicked in yet, and so I was like, "Nope, don't even remember. Like, lost, lost it, gone." Yeah, and normally if it's like a thought, I can normally <clears> finish <throat> it. If it's not, if it's like I remembered it on, on the way home though. But yeah, when it's your own stories later, I can't finish your own stories for you. Yeah, 
but it was it was interesting because I don't know he just I don't know I don't even know how to explain him in like a way that's not like what you already know I mean everyone knows he's supportive of my homeschool and actually he's gonna be coming on my channel oh yeah I'm excited for that video we just have not had time to oh film. you haven't filmed it yet mm -hmm. but like he will oh my gosh on my channel Maybe that's what we'll do this weekend after you leave, if he's home. <laughs> Nick would be so. I think he's has. I think he's like procrastinating because yeah. I don't think he wants yeah. to, but he's going to because I already asked him and he agreed. So we stick to our commitments. <laughs> um. Yeah. And It'll it's hard fun. that first time, like, think about your first YouTube video or, like, your first awkward, couple. It's awkward because you, and now it's so natural. It's oh, like, yeah. I don't even care. No. I'm always talking to a camera, so. It's and it, so it's weird. more awkward to vlog, I feel like, especially if you're in public. Yeah. That, oh, I, hate that. I don't talk. Like, a lot of uh -huh. people are just like, ha, ah, and I'm like, nope. I could never in public. <laughs> nope. <laughs> never. Even when we, like, were videoing today, we didn't really talk. We were just, like, videoing. Yeah, because then I felt like stuff. a tourist. I felt normal. Right. And then we can always go back and do, like, voiceovers. voiceovers. But that's okay. He's out there with me. I'm so nervous. You're fine. He knows better. We have a very, I wouldn't even call her, like, reactive, but she's just. Anxious. She's anxious and, and she's protective, yeah. especially of our house. I think that's what reactive means. It's our house. Yeah, but like she's she gets along with the dogs that walk up to her, so it's not that people. Is weird. It, or it's not a dog, dogs. It's people, which most it's, dogs are dogs, right, not people. Right. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, that's our plan and our upcoming plan. We're going to probably start filming again in July for our second season. And we'll have lots to talk about then because we'll be fresh out of break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tw I mean, think about 22 straight weeks. And these are long of us talking. I mean, we're not holding up a curriculum like how right, other YouTube our, videos are. Yeah, because this isn't really all just for YouTube because we also have the podcast part of it where we air it to podcast platforms who can't see us so we can't just hold up curriculum on this all day every day and have it be a podcast so it's mainly just coming out of here talking and I mean we've been we started this in December mm -hmm. so we just need a break and yeah. a lot of podcasts do these seasons so we figured it's gonna hurt us so if you're watching us on YouTube like share the love well and make sure you're subscribed too because that's yeah. how we know that people want to keep seeing it and mm -hmm. comment with topics because we're if we don't hear from you we don't we just make it up we're like what do you want to talk about yeah and it's hard to do like curriculum choice topics on our podcast channel mm -hmm. um, we don't know your family we don't know your kid it's really hard to, to recommend things on a podcast for people um, we both on our individual channels if you have not they're linked down below in the description box like check out those we both have tons of content on there tons of video hundreds of videos mm -hmm. um reviews and curriculums as well yeah so think about things that like you if you like were to call us or like come have yeah. coffee with yeah. us like what kind of conversation because we're not afraid i think to say things that most mm -hmm. people shy away from and we're not we're like our own section of like homeschool moms. <laughs> yes. We're like in the middle somewhere. We're not we're like super. Middle. We're not like religious. We're not secular. We're just like somewhere down the middle. Yeah. And like I think we see both viewpoints on all subjects. And that's why I think we're better at like. We're not going to tell you it. you're right or wrong. We're right. just going to tell you our thoughts. So. Right. That's why we're here. Um, I would say make sure you're following us both on Instagram too because mm -hmm. we are both pretty active, especially when we're on downtimes. Yeah. Like I'll be sharing more of our summer on Instagram. Same. So that's like a good way to keep up with us. And then you can talk to us kind of. Oh, she's probably better at responding than I am. But. Um, oh, maybe not. Just don't come at us. Yeah. We're busy. Well, that too. Like, we do get a lot of people like, what curriculum should I use? Like Nikki said, we don't know your life. And also, like, 
learning style. Yeah, we can't just sit there and like pick a bunch of curriculum for you. We can, again, watch our reviews. That's why we make those, but like. Yeah, this is the only time you're gonna see us next to each other. Well, no, don't say like for I mean, a while. Like, filming. Yeah. like who knows when that'll be and if we'll film next time too yeah. or, or not. This just happened to work out where we it had did. the time and the place. So yeah, and I think it's it worked out perfectly. To wrap it up, we're wrapping up our school years. I think we both have kind of videos wrapping up our school years. I'm sure we'll be sharing stuff over the summer and then just like when we started the podcast, we were kind of on a break. Because we're yeah. coming off like Christmas break. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're going to be really good getting back into our homeschool year. More, yeah, more topics and conversations and more guests. Guests have been fun. Yeah, We've had two great guests. Fun. If you guys have any suggestions too for yeah. who you might want to be on our podcast. Yeah, or if know. you want to be on our podcast. Yeah. We would love to talk to you and meet you. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're done. All right. Well, thank you for a great first podcast season. We'll see you guys in July. In July. Have a great summer. Bye. We want to hear from you. Your feedback is invaluable to us. So let us know your thoughts on today's episode. Share your topic suggestions or ask us any burning questions you may have. Your input shapes the direction of our podcast and we're here to create content that resonates with you. If you enjoy listening to homeschool stories, curriculum reviews, advice, struggles, and overall mom life, this podcast is for you. But so is our YouTube channels. Don't forget to check out our individual channels. We share even more content, insights, and a behind the scenes look at our lives. Thanks for listening.